Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And today's my first video. So, as this is the first, I thought we would just draw something today. And it's pretty easy. And it's something that everybody likes. So, let's get started. I'll tell you the things that you need. You can have some markers with you. Or sketch pens. You could have, um, actually, it's not you could. You have to have these things. It's your choice if you want to have sketch pens. You can even have crayons, but I prefer using these. You can have a pencil, just have a pencil with you. And any circular object, which will help you to draw the circles. I'm using a cup holder, you can use anything you want. And just have a handy eraser in case you make a mistake. So let's get started. Hope you can see. Now, first you have to take your cup holder or any circular object you have and make a circle. Okay. Just switch on the lights so you can see better. Ta-da! Now, the bumpy places, you can just take your trusted eraser and just... Now, there's your lollipop. Next, you're gonna make a line. Please avoid using a scale or ruler because you will never learn how to draw lines. And lines are the most basic thing of art. Yeah, isn't that good? Now, this is going to be the handle of the lollipop. Hope you can see. So it, it will look like this. Next. So the drawing part is all done. Now you have to take your markers or sketch pens, whatever you want to call them, and start coloring. So first I want to go and color the stick. So I'm going to color it brown. You can, so the sticks are never red, orange, or yellow, or green. They're always, mm, brown or yellow, and since we're using markers, we don't have the option to trade. You can just use this, like that. Like that. And up. Make sure it doesn't spill. Next. You can do any colors if you like, but I'm doing orange, and look, doing these. So you can imagine it however you'd like. I'd like to imagine it as orange flavored and cotton candy. So, let's draw a line like that, and like this. If you draw the border first, it looks really good later because it doesn't spill and it will help you to color. If you don't want to use markers, it's really okay. But I, I'm using markers because it looks really pretty. I think I'm gonna add some color to this. Not only orange and blue. First, I'm gonna put blue, and I'm gonna put another color. So the good thing about art is you can put your own creativity. You can make it special, even if it's not true in real life. Because you can find striped lollipops in your life, but you can draw things like that. You can draw a lollipop. 
And make sure you do it all in one stroke. It'll look good. And if you do it like that, it doesn't look neat. And it looks kind of ugly. So make sure you do it in one stroke. Like that. Okay. It's, a, it's okay if it doesn't look like a real lollipop. Because nobody's perfect. So now I'm putting red. You can put any colors that you like. Since I like these, you can, I, I'm going to put these. It's okay if there's still white gaps. Just try to maintain the distance note. So I like, so today I'm going to give you a quiz in the comments. You can just type that, why do you like to do art and how does it make you feel good? You can write that in the comments. Next I'm going to repeat the pattern by using orange again. You can make the lines as flat as you want or as thin as you want. It's totally upon you. The choice is upon you. I just made a mistake over there. I know that mine looks really good, but I'm sure that yours will be too. And nobody's perfect. If it's not perfect, you could just try again. And don't give up. You can do anything. And I believe in you. Great. Now blue again. I'm just doing this for fun today, but from from the next video onwards, I'm just gonna try to keep it a little. I'm gonna make it a little harder. So that you can learn. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to give like too hard. It's going to be easy. And I'm going to show you the tricks. It might look hard, but you can do it because you're awesome. Right? And believe in yourself while doing these things. It might look challenging, but it's not. I tend to hum sometimes when I'm drawing because it makes me feel good. And I feel relaxed. And one more thing, it does, since I'm drawing like um, patterns, it doesn't mean that you have to, to, but you have to. You can make a rainbow. You can make anything that you like. You can even make a unicorn face on the lollipop. It's totally your wish. But since we're doing this lollipop today, I recommend you to do this. So we've done two sets of this red, I mean this orange, blue, and red pattern. So I'm just going to keep repeating. It's really easy. Anyone can do it. These markers are already drying up. Drying up. Mm -hmm. I know there's a sound, but um, it's just a marker. It's a scratchy. I also like to use paints, pastels, I also like, and colored pencils. And I really like those things. I just like art. And I, that's what I decided. And art makes you happy. 
I at least I know it makes me. Hope you'll watch this video and you'll like and you'll like and you'll subscribe. And please give a comment of what I asked. Why do you like to do art? I'll just repeat the question. Why do you like to do art and how how does it make you feel good? Please put in the comments below. So we're going to the last trip. And done. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment of what I asked. And bye.